What does it take to amass Mr. Reed's $8 million fortune? It might not be as hard as you'd think if you live as long and as frugally as he did. You'd have to invest about $300 a month over 65 years for a total of less than $270,000 put in to get to that amount. Uh, what kinds of investments you've discovered and uh, Mr. Reed had made over the years? What did you find, Lori? Well, I've got a whole list here. <clears throat> Most of his investments were we found in a safe deposit box. When we totaled them, there was $6.8 million worth of investments in the safe deposit box. $6.8 million. What kinds of investments? What kinds of names did he have? He had AT&T, Bank of America, CVS, Deere, GE, General Motors, um, things you would recognize. He only uh, invested in what he knew and what, and what paid dividends that was important to him. Buy what you know, buy American companies, Deere, General Motors, Bank of America. I mean, it's a matter of living a certain way, keeping your lifestyle under control, and being committed. And I'm very impressed with him and what a legacy he's going to have as he's been a blessing to the library as well as to the hospital. Very interesting that, that he uh, basically not only lived frugally, but that his hobby was investing. Should have been his vocation, obviously, as well as he did, Kel, but he probably liked what he did. Uh, both on the side of, you know, helping people, working around kids and all the rest, as well as the fact that he was able to spend his spare time uh, researching stocks to buy, and like he said, that was his hobby. It's a matter of being focused and having a strategy, making sure you're controlling your lifestyle, so you're identifying how much do you want to save, how much do you want to be able to give later, and then sitting down with an, an investment professional, someone that has the heart of a teacher, not someone trying to sell you stuff, and, and understanding how you can get there. It can be done. And in America, we st need to start believing back in the American dream and stop buying the stuff that's on commercials. Initially, five or six years ago, he told me he had money, but he didn't tell me how much. He eventually told me it was more than three million, but he never told me it was more than that.